In this class, we are going to study about the harmful microorganisms. Harmful microorganisms means the microorganisms which directly or indirectly causes problems to human beings, animals as well as on plants. First, let us list the important harmful activities or the harmful microorganisms and how they are harmful to uh, human beings, animals and plants and so on. Let me list the first harmful activity of microorganism that is the microorganism cause several diseases in human beings. There are large number of diseases which are caused by microorganisms. So microorganisms cause diseases in human beings or we can say cause diseases in man. Okay, there are plenty of diseases starting from cold. One example is cold, then flu, then chicken pox, smallpox, measles, leprosy, tuberculosis and so on. So several diseases are caused by microorganisms whether it may be virus or maybe bacteria. There are bacterial diseases, viral diseases. Okay, there are different different types of diseases okay which are caused by microorganisms say for example some of the examples i will tell you see let us take bacterial diseases which are the bacterial diseases see the first one is tuberculosis okay tuberculosis is a bacterial disease we commonly call it as tb then leprosy okay leprosy is a bacterial disease which is caused by mycobacterium leprae then pneumonia it's a type of fever that affect our lungs pneumonia okay all these are bacterial diseases to human beings and come to the viral disease let me tell you some examples for viral diseases viral diseases in man see the starting from very common cold and cough that is common cold then the viral fever flu okay then chicken pox smallpox okay polio rabies okay all these are viral diseases which are caused by different types of virus in human beings. So, if they ask, mention few examples for viral diseases, you can write cold, flu, chicken pox, polio, rabies. Okay, these are the viral diseases. Now, let me tell you some examples for, uh, for example, uh, see, next one is fungal disease. Okay, fungal disease. Fungal disease we already discussed, say still ringworm. Okay, ringworm is a fungal disease. Then athlete's foot. Athlete's foot. This is a fungal disease. So whether it is fungus or it may be virus or it may be bacteria, even protozoa, there are different protozoal diseases, diarrhea. It is caused by amoeba, abemic dysentery. Okay, so several examples are there. So, altogether we can say that, see, this microorganism causes diseases in human beings. That is the first harmful effect of microorganism. Now, let us see the second one. Second. See, Microorganisms cause diseases in animals too. Diseases in animals. There are several diseases which are caused by microorganisms in animals. Example, see FMD. FMD means foot and mouth disease. Foot and mouth disease. It is caused by a virus called foot and mouth disease virus fmdv food and mouth disease virus 
this disease are caused in cattle in cow in buffaloes and all we can see this particular type of disease fmd foot and mouth disease okay then see a kind of uh, disease that is known as anthracis okay anthracis this disease also found in human beings and this is found in animals too it, it is caused by bacillus anthracis okay anthracis uh, better we can write anthrax we can write okay anthrax it is caused by bacillus anthracis <coughs> it's a bacterial disease are you clear now third one third let us write see the microorganism cause diseases microorganism cause diseases in plants okay microorganism cause diseases in plants also say for example we have fungal diseases in wheat that is called rust in wheat rust in wheat it's a fungal disease in plant okay then another disease uh, citrus canker you might have seen the citrus plant you know citrus plant means oranges lemon are known as citrus species in citrus species uh, you can see in lemon uh, some dots on its surface that particular disease is a bacterial disease that is known as citrus canker okay so citrus canker is a bacterial disease then uh, uh, you might have seen uh, the tobacco mosaic disease okay mosaic disease in plants mosaic some patches you can see that is known as mosaic disease and in higher class you will study this is because of a virus called tobacco mosaic virus short form we can say tmv so the microorganism cause diseases in human beings second one come on microorganism cause diseases in animals very good one example foot and mouth disease okay very good next one it cause diseases in plants also example rust in wheat citrus canker and mosaic disease in tobacco plant which virus is responsible for mosaic disease tobacco mosaic virus tmv what is the full form of tmv tobacco mosaic virus are you clear now let us see the fourth harmful activity or the harmful effect of uh, microorganisms see microorganisms cause a serious problem that is known as food poisoning and right food poisoning microorganism cause food poisoning in human beings okay how food poisoning is caused see when you eat the rotten food the spoiled food the old food and see the spoilage of food is due to some of the bacteria and fungi okay these fungi or bacteria inject some of the harmful toxic substance poisonous substance in food and when you eat this rotten food you will get trouble okay that is called food poisoning what are the symptoms of food poisoning when you are affected by food poisoning you will get vomiting okay vomiting nausea okay nausea then what is other symptoms can you say very good stomach pain you will get stomach pain okay stomach pain is a symptom of food poisonings okay vomiting nausea stomach pain one more can you say come on yes very good loose motion we can say diarrhea okay diarrhea loose motion a kind of loose motion so even because of all this thing fever also so these are the symptoms of food poisoning see i will tell you one of the food poisoning a type of food poisoning that is called botulism have you heard about botulism botulism is a serious type of food poisoning okay botulism is a serious type of food poisoning it is caused by a bacteria so what is botulism it's a serious type of food poisoning it is caused by a bacteria 
that bacteria is known as clostridium clostridium botulinum okay botulinum it cause bo, sorry botulinum it is botulinum bacteria name is botulinum and the food poisoning is known as botulism it's a serious type of food poisoning caused by clostridium botulinum note down okay it's very very important especially for uh, some of the uh, quiz question or we can say some of the entrance type of question for your higher classes it is very very important botulism okay so which are the uh, important harmful activities we learned so far come on okay first one yes it caused diseases in human beings second one it caused diseases in animals third one it caused diseases in plants can you say one example come on yes very good tobacco mosaic disease one more food and uh, okay in plants i am asking plants sorry in plants okay citrus canker very good citrus canker and the fourth one is it caused food poisoning see food poisoning is caused by bacteria as well as some fungus uh, one of the fungus i will tell you see have you heard about the fungus aspergillus see aspergillus yeah in the first part i told you about aspergillus a branched fungus very beautiful fungus look like a flower do you remember in the second page the diagram is there in your book okay aspergillus is a fungus this fungus produce a type of chemical that is known as aflatoxin what is that aflatoxin toxin means poison okay this aflatoxin is a serious type of neurotoxin you see neurotoxin what do you mean by neurotoxin yes this poisonous substance that affect your nervous system okay your brain your nerve will be affected and it is very fatal very fatal disease okay this aspergillus this aspergillus flavus it is known as okay as a species known as aspergillus flavus release a kind of toxic substance which is a neurotoxin the name of the toxin is aflatoxin when it is injected into the food and such a food if you have taken if you consume you will get a serious type of food poisoning and that is fatal that means you may it may leads to death okay so don't eat spoiled food okay never eat spoiled food how can you understand the food is spoiled or not come on yes a bad smell it will produce a bad smell it will emit a bad smell okay next one the color of the food changes very good the color may be changes and next one one more the color changes uh, that already told you one more you tell me one more bad smell it produce okay and it tastes bad okay taste it will produce bad smell emit bad smell yeah, the taste from the taste we can understand whether the food is spoiled or not and uh, the color of the food changes okay some kind of a liquid also you can see isn't it okay from this we can understand whether the food is spoiled or not rotten or not so don't eat such spoiled food at any situation sometimes it may be affected by some fungus like aspergillus or it may be affected by clostridium botulinum that cause botulism and it may affect your body if it is aspergillus it produce a neurotoxin that is called aflux aflatoxin that affect your nervous system that means it will affect your brain it will affect your nervous system nerves are you clear therefore don't eat old or spoiled food okay and then coming to the next harmful effect of microorganism let us see the next one the fifth one i will tell you the next one fifth one the fifth harmful effect of microorganism see as we already told it will spoiled it will spoil the food okay it will spoil many food see some of the fruits are immediately spoiled okay that is perishable we'll say the food items which are easily spoiled are called perishable some of the microorganisms spoil the food especially the food which are easily spoiled are called perishable food 
perishable food the water content is more and it will be attacked by the microorganisms like fungus and bacteria and it will be easily spoiled by these microorganisms okay and you know uh, in rainy season uh, because of moisture content you might have seen that some of the fungus are growing on our leather goods uh, dress materials and it will affect all these materials okay therefore the fungus or we can say that microorganism microorganisms spoil spoil leather items okay leather items clothes etc okay these items are spoiled because of some of the microorganism okay can you list now what are the harmful effects we studied so far one by one after the other you tell me okay the first one what is the first one microorganism cause diseases in man microorganism cause diseases in man okay very good can you the next one microorganism cause diseases in animals okay it cause diseases in animal we studied about food food okay f o o t food and mouth disease in cattle then which is the other one we study anthrax okay anthrax is a bacterial disease caused by bacillus anthracis or bacterial disease are you clear then the microorganism cause diseases in plants also it cause diseases in plants okay the next one microorganism cause food poisoning this is very very important food poisoning what are the symptoms of food poisoning vomiting okay nausea then stomach pain diarrhea and fever all these are symptoms of food poisoning how you will get the food poisoning when you eat the spoiled food okay one of the serious food poisoning caused by a bacteria is known as what botulism okay botulism is a serious type of food poisoning it is very very important it is caused by which bacteria clostridium botulinum it is caused by clostridium botulinum very good and see the another type of food poisoning which is caused by aspergillus it's a fungus aspergillus uh, flavus aspergillus flavus is there aspergillus nedulans is there it produce a kind of chemical that is known as aflatoxin this aflatoxin is a neurotoxin okay this neuro means indicates nervous system toxin means poison that means this poison affect the nervous system it affect our brain it affects the nerves okay and that even lead to death are clear therefore we should not eat spoiled food and which is the next one the next one it spoiled the food okay it's make the food fruits vegetables are immediately spoiled because of microorganism especially fungus and bacteria and the microorganisms spoil the leather goods the cloth our cloth items okay you can see some dark spot on the cloth when we are uh, using the cloth in especially in uh, what you call uh, rainy season when the humidity is more okay immediately uh, when the humid humid content is more the microorganism will infect and it will spoil the leather items clothes okay so these are the harmful effects some of the harmful effects which is listed in your textbook hope you understood this particular part okay okay very good thank you